On this date, exactly 100 years ago, a relatively unknown German physicist published a theory that would forever change the way we understand space, time, and matter. It's why you recognize Albert Einstein's face 60 years after his death. But it's probably not the equation you're thinking of. E is equal mc squared. That's his special theory of relativity, the one we see on t-shirts and posters and in so many other places. It's important too, but 10 years after he knocked that one off came a much bigger revelation. It was 1915, the First World War had just begun, and Einstein was living in Germany. According to his wife Elsa, he became lost in thought one day, sat down at his piano and started playing, then headed upstairs to his study, where he remained for two weeks, only eating when she brought him food. When he finally came back down, he had this, his general theory of relativity. Mass and energy are... In a nutshell, the geometry explains that space and time can be bent by matter, like stars and planets. The theory was revolutionary, won him worldwide acclaim, led to his move to the United States, and eventually to status in pop culture never achieved by any other scientist in the world. So is Einstein relevant today? Our national science correspondent, Bob McDonald, joins us with his take on relativity. Bob, is, is Einstein's theory still a big deal? Oh, it is, Peter. Uh, no one's been able to prove him wrong in all of this time. Uh, we see his effects everywhere in the universe. And to just give you an idea of how differently he thought of gravity, uh, Newton, famous for gravity in his apple, thought of gravity as a force, the Earth pulling the, an apple down and the apple pulling the Earth up. But Einstein saw it like this. If I put Newton's apple on this flat piece of plastic, if it stays there, you can see that it makes a dent. That's how Einstein saw space. He saw it as flexible. And if I take another object and put it close to that, it will be attracted to it. It'll go down the gravity well. And if I was really good, I could make it actually orbit around. So he saw space as flexible, as a curvature. And the more massive the object I put on here, the deeper down it will go. And if I put something really heavy, it'll go right through. And that would be a black hole where you can't get out at all. So thanks to Einstein, we understand things like black holes, neutron stars, even the beginning of the universe itself. Newton works on the local scale, like here. Einstein tells you about the rest of the universe. So uh, are there any uh, practical applications for us? Well, I guess the most practical one is GPS satellites. Uh, they're moving around the Earth and they depend on very, very precise time and their clocks actually run slower in space thanks to Einstein's relativity. And of course, those big particles accelerators like uh, the Large Hadron Collider, when they speed things up, they gain mass. So Einstein just keeps being proven right again and again. A remarkable theory. All right. Bob, thanks very much. Bob McDonald, okay, he's good. in uh, Victoria this evening.